July is going to be hotter than ever because you get up to $50 off any smartphone at Appalachian Wireless. Two-year agreement required. Better service, bigger savings. That's today's Appalachian Wireless and East Kentucky Network Company. Over the weekend, pictures of overflowing dumpsters outside the now-closed Blackberry Elementary School in Pike County began making their way across social media. Local residents say the dumpsters hadn't been emptied since school went out, and Pike County officials responded this morning saying it was due to a misunderstanding. A supervisor in that area was under the impression that where the school was closed, that uh, they did not have service those dumpsters and they thought no one was paying for them. But this uh, dumpsters over there does belong to the school board. They own them, they do pay for them. Mullen said once he explained the situation to his local crew, they took a truck to the school first thing this morning. But he did want to stress that because the school is now closed and has been for more than two months, the dumpsters should have been empty. The public's in under misconception that those dumpsters belongs to the county. The county does own the biggest part of the dumpsters, but the school board owns theirs. And these other dumpsters that we may own, a private business is renting them. Those are still private dumpsters that's not allowed for you to go and dump. Mullen says if the residents have a situation where they need to dump their trash before their regular pickup, they do have other options. They can take it to the Turkey Creek Transfer Station, Phelps Transfer Station, or if they're in the other side of the county, they can go to Belcher Lot or Robinson Creek. We have certified transfer stations that's licensed there to take of their trash. Local residents who live near the old school are also hoping the dumpsters will remain empty and are taking steps of their own to keep people from dumping their trash there. Reporting from Blackberry in Pike County, I'm Shannon Deskins for EKB News.